Well, hey folks, it's your old pal, King Waspinator. Welcome back to Total Party Skills. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Now, uh, you might be aware, as the word is warming its way out through the internet as we speak, that Wizards of the Coasts, Dungeons and Dragons, 5th editions, the pre-evolution is putting out a new uh, adventure anthology, kind of disguised as if it was a setting source book, a, a la, uh, you know, uh, Witchlight and Strixhaven, where it's going to be uh, something along, uh, was it, Journeys Through the Radiance Citadel, and they really want you to know that it's been written entirely by black and brown people. Now, before everyone starts having their normal spate of reactions to this, either positive or negative, pause a moment and think. With a lot of these things that occur from these companies, uh, various entertainment brands in particular, uh, you know, uh, the comments they make, uh, the, the, the shifting of the blame for bad products onto the audience and implying that everyone who doesn't like their thing is just doing so because they hate women and or people of race X. Consider that that's likely a case of uh, projection and that uh, my philosophy that the only people that really need religion are the guilty. Now, obviously, many people can adhere and believe and draw a lot of good things from a per any particular belief structure or another, but the people who actually need it, the people who have need of uh, uh, an enforced moral framework that often comes through uh, the shape of guilt and fear of your afterlife, which in modern times is your uh, continued online reputation. Uh, I, you know, just look at the statistics of it. You know, that would they be making a big deal out of this Radiant Citadel book being written by non-Caucasians if that was not a highly unusual and first-time occurrence? I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm not going to sit there and go through, like, their genealogy of all their books. And I'm just talking Wizards of the Coast here. I'm, I'm just going to completely chop the first half of D&D's lifespan under TSR off and make this entirely about Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast has had control of D the Dungeons and Dragons IP for over 20 years now. And only now is one of the books that they've made been written by non-white people? That's just statistically improbable. I mean, like, they've put out three whole editions of D&D &D under, their, under their watch with tons of books. Uh, and only now? Are we find, did they get a book put out that didn't, you know, have any uh, Caucasian input? No European Americans? were involved, uh, is Wizards of the Coast actually racist? Uh, is all this, this guilt reflex shit that a lot of these companies and rich people in particular are doing is because it's, it's not because they really think everyone else is racist. That's just a, con, a convenient thing to spit at people. Uh, cause you're trying to redirect, uh, your just natural reflex, reflexive bigotry towards an approved target but uh, why would you feel that bad unless you had done something? I mean, only the guilty have any fear of guilt, right? So uh, quit personalizing these things when you hear about this stuff or when they're trying to make it out to be your fault because you're a fan and you didn't like the product they made. Uh, also consider the idea of fantasy blackface. So if they're just now putting out a book that's actually been fully you know, written by a non-white crew... Uh, well, fifth edition in particular uh, has been, you know, sticking people of color in their art and in their setting and, and switching NPCs. Or all, all that was done by right authors. Uh, okay, I thought that wasn't good. Uh, it, it, like, you know, uh, is is uh, Van Richten's Guide to uh, Ravenloft uh, doing the exact same thing that when people say that, you know, they don't they don't think well, you know white people should be using uh, gifts. And Facebook comments of black people doing silly reactions. Um, you know, there's also this idea I have about that, you know, there's kind of like this conquest of by inclusion angle going on too. Where, you know, where uh, on the shadow side of corporate inclusivity is, is it reduces competition. 
because instead of black people, Asians, Native Americans, Hispanic, whatever, instead of them starting their own businesses, starting their own banks, starting their own mining companies, starting their boat, their own ent entertainment studios, starting whatever, instead of doing that and actually being real, real actual true competition, instead, we want you to come work for us. You see the difference? Oh, and here, have a credit card. That way, you can basically just be an indentured servant for the rest of your life because you got to pay off your credit card. Stop taking the blame down here at the bottom, guys. Like they're they're just projecting down upon you the, the what they know of themselves in their heart. That's a common thing. Few people have true empathy. Few people are really able to stop and consider external points of view. And so uh, quite often the things that people accuse other people of is it, it it's because they assume that of that person because they only have their own internal thoughts and impulses to consider. So uh, who are the racists? I mean, like, that's kind of what I get at when I do make comments in some of my videos about like, no, you know, uh, the, the woke people aren't entirely wrong about like the whole white people are racist. But I'm not necessarily talking about the white people in the red hats being the racists. Uh, benevolent racism is just as racist and is just as put from a position of, uh, of supposed superiority after, you know, oh, oh you know, we're going to, we're going to help protect the, the poor little defenseless black man and help him up. And, oh, and he'll come work for us at our bank. Oh, and he'll start our movies and he'll entertain us. We'll, we'll listen to his music all the time. We'll put him in all of our TV shows. There's nothing fetishistic about that. It's, it's benevolent. It's, it's for their own good so that they could be more like us. Uh, kind of reasoning, which, uh, it's, it's not, it's not the kind of, uh, progressivism that I wanted, uh, when all this began. So, just, just keep this in mind. You, the one watching this, are probably not the problem. The companies themselves, like, all they know is themselves, and they know what they've done, and so if they're showing all this level of guilt over uh, these sorts of topics, well, then what does that really say about what's been going on in their hearts and minds? More so than it says about any, anybody who might incidentally buy or not buy their products. Stay waspinated.